hi friends so a very common interview question uh, is what are the different system uh, dvs uh, databases which sql server hosts so it's it's a very common one i mean uh, uh, the interviewer would ask about the architecture of sql server followed by uh, the uh, the system databases so mo most commonly people miss out on uh, some of the mm, uh, system databases uh, they usually say that there are four uh, uh, five maybe uh, system databases the answer is actually sql server has six system databases that's master model msdb tempdb then you have the distribution db and uh, there is a resource database as well uh, so currently we will uh, not be focusing on each of them i i leave that to uh, for you to explore and get to know each of them their importance uh, what we will be doing uh, is we'll trying to we'll try to know uh, what a model database is and how sql server us uses it actually uh, the model database is a uh, quite misunderstood one and, and a very few i mean uh, people would actually come up with the right answer uh, what uh, and it's and it's very simple one as well so if you uh, if you think plainly model database is nothing but a template database first it's actually sql it's it's actually the basis on which it's the blueprint of a database which sql server actually uses and comes up uh, and creates a new database whenever uh, whenever uh, there is a request to create a new database so um, model db it forms a template the reason behind this is each time a sql server reboots uh, the new the uh, temp db is created newly i mean it's it's uh, it's actually refreshed so sql server doesn't understand what template or what sort of a temp db to create so in that case uh, sql server has the model database which acts as a temp as a template for uh, for the temp db to cre to be created but uh, it can be further leveraged the functionality of a model database can further be leveraged as well by uh, the general databases that are created post the model database we will take a look how we can do that so to do that what i have done here is in this demonstration i have created a very simple function this function simply trims the white white spaces uh, from the value that i mean of a varchar string so it will just uh, trim l trim and r trim i mean uh, trailing and starting white spaces it it will it will simply trim that so uh, that's the simple function we'll execute this in the model database so so the model database has this function now so let's just So we added we have added some f uh, spaces before and after the literals. So once we run this, we get the value, which is the function truncates the trailing and uh, beginning white spaces. So uh, so uh, that's done. Now what uh, happens is uh, now the plan is to create a new database for you. So uh, let's create a new database let's just put it a random name a and so during the creation of this database a actually uh, SQL server used the model database as its template so now what I want to show you is we can leverage the functionality we uh, we have created a, a function in the model database uh, and uh, here in, in the, if you if you take a look in a database what you would see is the function is already present in in here so basically uh, once you create it you can uh, you can use this function i mean it it will automatically be present it, it's it's because uh, for on the all the databases which are created i mean if you want to in include a function to all the databases which are created post the model database create something some functions in the model database and keep it there so these are uh, this will these will be the mandatory functions which will automatically be in inherited by uh, all the databases which are created post that to demonstrate this simple thing 
I can uh, and and if you just uh, if you just run this on any other database which was created before the model database uh, before the change in the model database you would see it will not be able to find the function so to demonstrate the change uh, in one another way what I would do is uh, let's just change the recovery model you uh, this is recovery model is in full so let me just change this to bulk logged I have changed this to bulk log. Now let me just create a new database. Let me call it B. So if you take a look at B, the recovery model is actually bulk log. So basically if you see it, it, it is actually using the a model database as template and basing upon that it is coming up with, uh, with a database with a, with a different name while the prior one will have the full logging because of the same reason as I have said so so uh, this was just a demonstration to, sh uh, to show you that uh, you can actually use and, and leverage this option as well I mean you can uh, if you want certain mandatory functions to be present uh, uh, on all the databases which are created post uh, your current model database you can actually put in those functions uh, into the model database and, and further to that any database coming up in your, on your server will inherit that blindly. Uh, so hope that was useful to you friends. Thanks so much.